What's up gamers, welcome back for more Good Vibes and another episode of Red Dead 2. I have once again busted out the Sadie suit. I'm ready to dive back in today. Hopefully she got the memo to wear the same outfit as me so we can be twinning. I also have one thing that I wanna mention before we jump in today and it's kind of like a cool little thing. Okay, so when I was reading through the comments of a video about two one or two, maybe three Red Dead 2 videos ago, there was a scene, there was a quest that I played where we got to go into the cemetery for Saint Denis, and a lot of people mentioned in my comments that I had seen a ghost. Like, there was a dude, I remember this so distinctly, because I was like, I, I didn't think anything of it, but they were running away, and I was like, oh, okay, cool. But I read in the comments that that was a ghost and I guess not everybody that plays gets to see that and I thought that that was so cool but you have no idea I was reading those comments I literally got chills down my spine when I read that because I've never seen a ghost real life I've never had a paranormal experience that's probably as close as it's gonna get to any of that but that just I got instant chills when I read that. Just a fun little factoid before we jump into today's video, which of course I hope you guys enjoy as always. So with all that being said, let's jump back in. Alrighty, we're back. And I think I woke up in Saint Denis. So we're going to go to the map. I wanna see what's going on. Again, grounding ourselves before we get out into that big vast open world. Okay, there was some side missions that I wanted to do last time, but they disappeared. Okay, he's still not back up there for some reason. Hmm. Mm. Who's this? Eagle Flies. Oh, that's right. Yes, because we talked to Eagle Flies and I think his father last episode. That's how we ended. Um, again, at some point, like, really want to check that place out for sure. Um, let me see. So let's start off with the main quest. It's like super close to us. This is one. Trelawney. All right. Let's do it. Excuse me, lady. What do you think you're doing? Good day. Good day. Hey there. Hey there. We have to go. You hear they caught one of the laborers. How do you do, sir? Wine from the church. Oh, that stealing story. wine from the church. Senor. Who could do such a thing? You know what I mean? Hello, mister. Hello. Sir. Hello, Hello sir. Do, 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 do. Oh, hey. gosh. Oh, hey. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. How do you do, hey, mister? Well, how do you do? Hey, there. Hello. Bonjour, madam. What is she saying? Bonjour, monsieur. Huh? Hey, there. Hello, Hello there. sir. Hello there. Excuse me, pardon. Excuse me. Okay. Hello, sir. Hello. Bonjour. Hello there. Hello, dear. Dear? Mister. Buy me dinner first. You know what? I'm feeling good today. You know what, Arthur? So am I. Hello, mister. Hello there. Hi. Anyway, sorry, you don't need to know this. Bye. But we didn't we didn't share any information. There was no TMI information given what? Mister? Mister. You gotta start the day off with a smile. Hello. Hello. I tell you, boy, married life ain't what it's made out to be. That's just life, I guess. Well, that's just, I guess, your perspective. Ah, there you are, dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. I think I look dapper. Ah. Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Bro, I already bought up the entire... There's nothing there that I probably don't own. 
I help you gentlemen? Yes. My friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. Oh, Make will I? This gentleman look like the Duke he really is. Duke Martha it was Organ. The English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. Oh, I love it. I love it. And it's free 99, my favorite price. Wish everything was free 99. Oh, my. Good, the Whitmore. The Whitmore. I love that. Oh, I love that very much. Let's Dude, to the might not oh. change. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Arthur Morgan. The whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields. Come to lay it on thick and drunk. Come to lay it on thick. All the thick. while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. <laughs> no, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Yes, well, innocent. Well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. No. Oh, so. Come on. Arthur Morgan is looking H A W T hot. Oh my goodness. My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? Watch the H word, my friend. This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. You're gonna get slippity slapped in about well, two seconds. Very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're gonna let him play big at the tables tonight. You know how long I've worked on his do? I w We're just gonna Uh always oh, wanna trim. Make I just I like how I look. Tricks. Maybe we can, I don't know, pomade it or something because I'm not changing the way I look. I don't care how he thinks this hick looks. Palm, oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, I just, I can't go back to parted. Look at that. Arthur, you look good every which way, upside down, right side up, but, mm, not buzz, no. Let's just do it palmated because we're not messing this this up. We're not doing it. Delicious. What's back? He insulted me. There, very smart. Come like on. I said. Let's get to the box. I've arranged some transportation for us. Oh, is this our is this our taxi? Our coach. I'm sorry. George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. <laughs> well, look at you, from Toad to Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it, the coach? We can't whinny up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. Yokels. You're a fresh oil man. <laughs> Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Buff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. Saint Hamlet. So, who's Saint Hamlet? You're up by the way, driver. 
Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery of all things. <laughs> he likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? And I like to think I know how to play a little bit. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, do you have any weaponry here? There are searches when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Yes, thank you, George. By George, I think he's got my weapons. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss. Listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come what a on, beautiful come on, ship. Let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. Drinks on Arthur. Says who? I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. <laughs> I like Trelawney, he's now funny. Where can I get a okay, follow those instructions while playing poker. Oh gosh. We have a chair here with your name on it, sir. Well, does it not say hey, Martha Organ? Yes. Martha Sorry, I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Hey, Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. <laughs> Look at this. Chips already stacked up waiting for me. I like this joint already. I started with three hundred dollars. Holy smokes! So, pretty okay. How are we all fair? Some better than others. If Let's we call. all fared the same in life, now where would the fun be? Quiet. Quiet. Wait, Quiet. not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but <laughs> yes, you should have. <laughs> yes, you should have. <laughs> I think okay, I had sorry, boys. I'm clubs. We'll see about that. Wait. To hell with Dude, all I need is an eight. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I need an eight or a king. Come on, baby. Are you Come on, playing? two. Call. What the hell? What you the hell? That's right. That's how I like to approach life. What the hell? Hello, my ladies. Damn it. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. What the? Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. Son of a... <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. <laughs> Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. <laughs> Funny, I haven't heard of you. 
Oh, you will. Oh. You know, I thought about getting in a hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. Oh, yeah. That's like, that. I like to see that. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. He didn't see me dance yet. I'm also not drunk enough to be Martha Organ yet, so we're just gonna stick with Your Arthur. Action, Mr. Callahan. I know. Seventy-six dollars. Pair oh, of queens. Okay. Call. Damn. Gotta also watch. Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. Strauss. Wait, what is that? To keep betting. To keep betting. Okay. Oh. Come on. We all night. I'm all in. Strauss. Interesting. Pair of cowgirls. Come on, dude. Nice. Ship. Nice. Ship. <laughs> Sucks to suck. Hell. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning... Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your <laughs> hillbilly <laughs> ass down. Dumb fighting words Why? now. I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. My man here is priceless. So you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. We're of acquainted. We've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation heads up in New Hanover. All right. Ooh, pocket kings again. <laughs> I am 100% all in, Mr. Callahan. Sure. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Go all in, dude. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Unless you got pocket aces, come on. Pair cage. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Oh, you did have yes, pocket aces. You little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God <laughs> damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, <laughs> sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? I do believe we shall. Gentlemen, please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. Oh, after you. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. I can't wait to Trust. rob these people blind. I trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. Sheesh. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. <gasps> Oh, what a well, sacrifice. Here we are. These people think they are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <gasps> oh. oh. That gun. Take his gun, Arthur. Yeah, give me that gun. You were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> Hell yeah, this is mine now. Idiot, huh? 
Oh yeah, people probably heard that. Shit, let's hope no one heard that. Ooh, I'm gonna think that they did. We need to go, we need to go, we need to go, we need to go. Few in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Damn. I'm gonna take this off this scumbag. Sure. Oh, I cannot. You're one lucky scumbag. Dang it. Is there anything else I could take here? How about some snacks? I reckon we've only got a few minutes. Alright, yep, yep. I think. Different. I don't think we can really take any. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up. Can I not loot this? Oh, dang it. Okay. Sir, follow me. Alright, oh, yep. Yes. My good friend, let's go. Right behind you. Gunshot. Nope. Like one. Nope, on. I farted. Nope. There's not a gunshot. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. We're gonna jump. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Hey, that w I would pay by the way. to see that. Thanks give anyone a job these days anyway we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy which it surely will to the bar Whoa. senor <laughs> to the bar senor <laughs> I love how you said that I hope you had fun sir oh it was Every absolutely mind life. blowing I sure know how to put on a show <laughs> that's wonderful <laughs> Ah, uh, look, there's your friend. We did absolutely no such thing. No cheating. There he is. Now, oh, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. <laughs> Oh, she's got fun. Very good. Oh, shit. Okay, we can quit moving your face, please. Thank you. What? What are we supposed to do? Shoot. Camera and no civilians. Oh, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, I'll do a suggestion. I don't know. This ain't my show. Silly me, I think. We don't really, Arthur. We don't need the money. We don't need. Oh, we don't need the money or the lost honor. All right, let's just get you. Bye. Right behind you. <laughs> oh, that would be a fun twist. That was fun. Well, no, my pomade. That was a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch, uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of uh, Swiss, uh, a Reutlinger or something. What if it's a nice fake? Watch. Okay. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> oh. We'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. He, Arthur's like, that's mine. That is most definitely mine. Man, I gotta go find something to spend my money on. Breaks over, boy. Uh. 
Let's see what's around town, huh? I kind of want to go swing by some shops real fast. I'll update you guys if there's anything important. I do want to go swing by this fence, though. Absolutely. Oh, and perfect. I love the trapper and the fence are, like, right there. Oh, what? You see this one here? <laughs> hey there, fellas. Looking sharp. What's going on? To say? Just hi. Whoa. Jeez. All right. Just passing on through. Go on then. Okay, dude. Whatever. Freaking rude. Whoa, we scared him off. Okay. You came back? Yeah, okay. freaking did. You know what? Holy crap! You are gonna regret this day. Dang! I just don't even know what to say right now. They're the ones who kind of started it. What the hell? Business hours open 6 a.m. to 12 a.m. Some people are just not good. I know it. Well, hello. How do you do, sir? Hey! Excuse me. Welcome. Nice to see you. Please, take a look. Won't charge a nickel. Lots of good supply in there. Oh, uh, hair tonics. Greatest hair tonic. Mm. We'll buy a couple. We'll drink a couple. Let me know if you need anything else. Oh, I will, sir. Thank you so much. Okay, I thought there was something weird here. Five bones under. I thought it was like writing from like construction but i came here to buy some hair tonic and then i passed by this and i was like that looks weird it came back and it actually is something what does it say five bones under the perfect star nosferatu with dominica will become mortal again oh my gosh wait um uh the two girls from camp what was it karen and somebody else was talking about some dude drinking blood and stuff okay, in St. Dennis. So, okay. I just still need to go to the fence. Maybe that has something to do with that. That'd be really weird. Now, what does that even... Oh, we found that. I'm totally reading this in the middle of the, of the road. No big deal. Oh, yep. Talked about them. Curious Frenchman at the bar bought him a drink. Yes, we love him. Met a weird fellow wants 100 gallons of moonshine for love. Oh, that's right. Guess I'll ask that clerk Alden, Trelawney's disappointed friend. Oh, that's right. Maybe we can go chat with him. Saint Denny. Oh, I just got ran though. You know what? I, okay, at least okay, at least we could say we did it for the laughs. Okay, I was just you didn't think to stop. No, I'm just I'm just a man reading my journal in the middle of the street. <laughs> I assumed wrongly that they would go around me. In a Super Bowl only now I have his name is Angelo Bronte. He is either our salvation or our damnation. The city strongman. Arrived from Italy a few years ago and now knows and controls. Everything and everyone, he has not harmed Jack other than feeding him strange food, and Dutch seems to think that maybe we can get something from this oily dictator. Personally, I don't trust him more than I trust any hungry animal not to try and eat me, but for now, we are somewhat safe and hidden. Whole place gives me the crepes, though. <laughs> Mary wrote to me, wants to see me again. Oh, Mary, what fools we are. What a fool I am. Aww. 
saw Mary and the Awful Daddy, who had taken to a drink to take him to drink, was unsurprisingly ate improved him a whole lot. What a foul pig he is, taking a hawking off taking a hawking off family heirlooms and cursing the world for it. Still a tr stuck up son of a bitch. No, now more Linton has passed away. I wonder what he wants for his daughter. Funny thing is, I love her and yet am a bad lot. Old daddy is a good, up, upright man and yet he treats his daughter like a possession to be mistreated and abused as he sees fit. Strange creatures, men. I don't know. All I know is that I love her and she both loves and detests me. It never worked before and it won't ever work now. Yet it gnaws at me. The idea of, the, the idea of it gnaws at me like a sickness. I've got to give all that nonsense up. I'm an outlaw, a murderer, a man with a code different to ordinary folk. And Mary ain't never gonna be to be for my world. Aww. We went to a vaudeville show in town, dancing from France, quite a business. What is wrong with me? Do I really think I can retire someplace nice and live a normal life with a wife? Am I big enough dolt to believe that is possible? Yeah, I remember the meteor house. That was so funny. And this trading post, random trading post. The mansion. My lord, now I have done everything. I went to a ball like a fool in a fairy tale. The mayor of St. Denis, Dutch goddess invited by Senor Bronte, and off we troop, trussed up like turkeys for Thanksgiving, and waxed and polished and primped to within an inch of our lives. Bronte did not mingle with the other guests, but lorded over the place like a Roman emperor, deciding who to have killed for his fun. The place was full of drunks, lunatics, liars, and clowns, but the thing was kind of fun. Managed to not get into too much trouble, and may have some business opportunities on account of inquiries there. We shall see, I guess. Seeing Bill dressed up like an ambassador and awkward as a schoolgirl was one of the funniest moments of my life. Met Evelyn Miller, the writer, which was amazing for Dutch. Met the mayor. Dutch, Dutch and Hosea seem to think his, this dump is a world of possibilities. They want to look into the bank and some other business opportunities. We shall see. As long as we can keep ahead of the Pinkertons and Mr. Cornwall and the rest of them for a while, maybe we shall be okay. Damn, he wrote a lot, and I missed a lot. Met that writer Evelyn Miller in the street. He remembered me from the party. Apparently, my petty crime did not go entirely unnoticed. Right. Better keep my head down a bit, a little better. He introduced me to a couple of Indians, father and son. Son, angry. Father with an air of, of what exactly? Of something both impressive and frightening and kind about him. A great man, defeated by powerful and awful forces. I do not know, but his eyes, his very manner spoke to me. Somehow, I've agreed to help them. Seems like, like they, like us, have problems with that gilded ape Leviticus Cornwall and his foul empire. We shall see how this pans out. Okay. Went to the art gallery. Season, the exhibition of paintings by the artist I met a couple of times. Watch. Charles something for other French fella. Seems like he'd been doing more than painting his models. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> Algernon Wasp. Not sh oh, that's right. The guy who wants to get uh, me to get like the weird things out in the wild. Not sure how to describe him, but I won't forget him anyway. Could not do him justice, different kind of fellow, but he says he'd pay good money for his hoarded feathers and eggs and whatnot for his creations for various rich women. Gave me a list of things he wants. And then we found this weird writing on the wall. Sand and knee. That's hilarious. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see if I have any goodies to sell at the fence. Shady fellow, this fence. Oh my goodness, I need to eat. I have no stamina. I would love to sell. One dollar. I will not give this away. Gold shield. Don't know really, again... Who to give this to? Nor this rat tail orchid. Hmm. Interesting. Pardon me. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. Out of the way. Watch yourself. 
yourself. Oh, you wash yourself. I took a shower today. Sir? Sure enough. Good to see you again. Good to oh, see you, my friend. Right, let's see. Um, I wanted to sell... Sure. Oh, yeah, good cougar pelt. That's right. Hello. If it's if the writing was by the hmm if there was writing by the merchant I wonder if it's nearby all the big the big areas like merchant areas hmm. I try to keep a lookout for that Haven't really found anything in San Denis besides this that was too interesting Stop That's an order Excuse me? Understood. I'll go. Turn around now or you'll regret it. Oh. When a free man talks, listen up. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I got into some trouble, guys. I got into some trouble. We just need to... How do I hide? How do I hide? Can I hide from them? What's that? What the hell is this? Oh god, you... Okay, enough. Enough. Some Lemoyne raiders found me, and then they won't leave me alone. Angry bunch. Angry bunch of people. I was just around here looking for I some stuff, but turns out I found it by hiding in here, though. <laughs> That's really weird how that worked out. What are the freaking odds of that? I decided that I was gonna go search the the thing a little bit. The, um, cause I figured, like, maybe it would be by all of the major vendors, maybe more of these techs, maybe that would make them a little bit easier to find. But I couldn't find it inside the actual area, like, where the market was, and then they just came up on me and then started shooting at me. So that was fun. That's how we ended up here. I fed again the blood of life. The circle has begun. Also, this text is really not easy to see at all. I will be taking that, though. This is for all the damn trouble you've got me into. Okay. All right. Oh, you won't report anything. I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. No. I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. I'm just hog tying her and leaving her. Oh shoot. Okay, well we're just gonna leave. We're just gonna dip. Paid off one bounty, got another. I can't win in this town. I really can't. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. I want to get out of this godforsaken town. Oh my sweet jeez. Okay, anything anything fun? Any fa side quests we can do around here? Oh! <gasps> yes! Okay, I'm gonna go up there. I'm gonna see if I can get this side quest again. Because now that it's back. Oh! I've entered legendary animal territory. Legendary boar? Let's freaking go. What's this? Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff here. What is that? What does this question mark mean? Oh, nice! We got a trail. We got a trail. Let's do it. Um, let me get my weapons. I want to do Springfield and let's go uh, rolling block rifle. There it is. It don't seem close. Alright, let's go this way. That's nah, not too far. 
Oh man, does it feel good to be back hunting some legendary animals. Animals. Okay, where is it? Getting close. Oh. <gasps> There it is. There it is, baby. Call my thing over here. Where are you going? Where do you think you're going? Come on. Come on. It's got to be almost dead. Oh, there it is. Let's go. God, I will just never get used to that. Ooh, now we got a reason to go to the trapper again. And then it'll be perfect because I think there's a trapper up north that's going to go do that side quest. <laughs> then. Yep, probably cannot pick up the entire carcass. Sad times. Cool. Alright. What is going on over there? So we're just chilling in blue water marsh right now. Okay, let's go up. Let's go hit that trapper first. I do not want to lose out on this. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. There's some dead people here. Someone's coming. Yeah, these weirdos again. Just strange. Oh my god! What the heck? When are these guys gonna leave it alone? What the hell? Oh, that's right. I forgot they always bring friends. Damn. How are there still more of you guys left? I swear, I think I killed you all. Also, fun fact, I started watching the show Westworld again, and every the whole time I'm watching and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is literally Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm sitting there like, oh, I wish they would make a, a video game about Westworld. I'm like, but they pretty much kind of have and yep. we're the player. Yeah. Right, here we go. Turn this baby in real fast. Good to see you again. Good to see you All too. Right, it's been a while a since I've turned into the legendary anything to you, but where did it go? Come on, boy. No, it's right there on its Get butt. It. It's right there on its butt. Maybe my horse was not close enough. Hello. Is there something else? I hope okay, so. Let's oh, thank God! It. I was like, you've got to be kidding me! I didn't forget that. Once I didn't a think so. Eh? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. We got Quality from that. hide makes the hardiest clothes around. Don't doubt it. Ooh. Perfect boar pelt. Boar pelt. I don't think there's really any. That's what we can make yet. Um. Oh my gosh. The buck vest is actually kind of cool. I totally want this. I sure. definitely want that. I need the legendary fox, legendary fox, and um, perfect raccoon pelt, beaver pelt, and hawk feather to get the raccoon. <laughs> I kind of like this, this set. Okay, let's go. Wait, wait, wait. I think I saw something in the reinforced Nothing saddles. Quite like wearing your best days or reinforced equipment. <gasps> nice! I do not own this oh. item yet. Okay, good. At least they tell us. 
Ooh, okay. Ram sombrero, yes. Fine clothes. Holy smokes. You got that? You got that. Oh my gosh, I kind of like that hat. Mm -hmm. I have what I need for that. <laughs> the Marauder. Yes, there. look at those gloves. Those are awesome. Think? I just want to make and craft all of this stuff if I can. I'm sure we can get the full sets, right? Mountain Man. Oh my god, that's so funny. Okay. Cool. We got some extra sets. Now my outfit's all messed up. The Okay, we're going to have to change that. Winter Gunslinger. Saint Denny. What do we want to be? Do we want to be a pirate? I just... I wish it would stop switching some of my... Where's the other outfit that I have? I had something else switched. Um, let's do this one. I want to be a pirate again. I miss being a pirate. Okay. Um, oh, now it's not there anymore. I keep coming up there and then it disappears on me and I don't freaking know why. Okay, let's go talk to the professor then, I guess. Ooh. We got the professor and we got a bounty here too. Oh, oh, oh. This will be fun. Captain Morgan is back at it again. Great Scott! Great Scott! Oh, glad you dropped in. I've got that uh, information you asked for. Well, I got a couple things I want to do. I want to pay off yet another bounty, and then. So, uh, do you want this, Arthur? I, ooh, I do. I um, need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. I knew I picked the right feather to speak to. How <laughs> things? Blue Water Marsh coach tip. There we go. Let's take a gander. Bridge in Blue Water, Mar Blue Water Marsh north of... St. Denny, looking for a wagon coming south, should be carrying a load of moonshine bottles in the back. Drive careful with it. Oh, we, okay, we will definitely be driving careful with it this time, okay? I promise. Also, I wonder if I take a bounty poster, if it'll just mark it on my map and then I can go deal with them later. <laughs> Is that what they're wearing in Paris these days? Each to their own, my friend. <laughs> yeah, you ever been there? I'll take that. Quite some poster, eh? If I looked <laughs> like that, I would have pursued a more dishonest path myself. He's <laughs> ripping on some dude's appearance. 25 bucks. I'll do anything for the cash. It's farm in the swamp. Excuse me, partner. You're enough to scare the horses looking like that. Fancy that. I seen them coming and going here, and I never had an inkling. With you in a moment. Oh, that guy? Oh, the, the bounty guy. Yep. Yeah, we'll worry about him in a little bit. But I gotta go get... I gotta go get that wagon thing up in Blue Water Marsh. Let's go up there. Gotta go all the way back over there now. Oh, hey, what's up, dude? What? Morning. Hey. Hey, it's good to see you again, friend. How you keeping? Oh. <laughs> I'm miserable because of the leg. Ah, oh, no, I'm used to the leg. I mean, I've been without it a whole lot longer than I was with it. <laughs> nah, it's a people. Yeah, a bunch of 
Nasty, miserable peasants I gotta share this place with. Why don't you leave? Leave? Well, I live here. <laughs> They're my nasty, miserable people. Now, I've been hating on them for so long, if I forgot to hate them, <laughs> so I wouldn't know what day it was. <laughs> yeah, but you... Yeah, I like you. You to get out of here and you to stop coming back. Why? Rose, don't want to miss this. What an odd... What an odd bird. Yeah. Out of the darn way. Oh, well, dude, I am so sorry. Sheesh, no need to be rude. Okay, well, go. good talk. I swear to God, though, last time I saw a guy like that, I thought he had his arm blown off instead of his leg. Now it's just like, maybe it's two different guys. I don't know. What the heck? More trouble. Ha ha ha. You gonna get wrecked today. What do you guys think you're doing? I just keep sending people my way and I just keep killing them. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Three dollars and ten cents. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I just kick your face in? Oh, my, what a shame. Oh, gotta hit up the fence again. Oh, I forgot to check and see last time if I had any pocket watches because it doesn't show up under valuables. Oh, well. Any reason to go back and get some more money, though? Oh. We're already here. Oh, wait a sec. This is the bounty. We'll keep going past this. We'll come back. Actually, you know what? Screw it. While we're here, we might as well. It's $25. I do love myself a good bounty. I think I found him. Okay, so he's got to be around here somewhere. We ain't going till you get this right. I can't, Daddy, please. Let him in. He's been trying for hours. He ain't no kind of man till he can get on a horse. <laughs> Aw. I, I can't do it, Daddy. He's spent. He's Let got a rest. son. My son ain't no quitter. Do it again, boy. <laughs> I hate to Rose, bring him like, in. Nope. Leave it, Billy, please. He ain't trying, is all. Again, boy. What do you have to say about this? Hello. What? Don't shoot. I'm unarmed. We knew you was coming. I got something to ask. I'm a changed man, okay? Let me say my farewells. I'll come away peaceable. Okay. Make it quick. You're a forgiven man. Boy, boy, come here. Listen. Exactly as I say. You hear? No. Don't. I ain't gonna fight you in front of my family. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay. But you'll fight me away from your family? Take me away or let me loose. I kind of want to give this man a second chance. Take me, take me. No, I'm walking away. He deserves a second chance. Yep. Go be free. Be free. There you go. You have a good day, sir. Pay it forward. Oh my. It's okay. I don't need the money. I don't need the money. It's okay. I should have just let him go. Hold on. Retry checkpoint. I want to try that again. <gasps> They're here for your bounty. <gasps> Come to mama, boy. Don't shoot. I'm unarmed. We knew you was coming. I got something to ask. 
I'm a changed man, okay? Let me say my farewells. I'll come away peaceable. Just a few words, huh? But if I decline, I'm afraid it'll, he'll just be... He's just a boy. Make it quick. You're a forgiven man. Okay. Boy. Boy, come here. Listen. I want to let him go. Exactly as I say. You hear? No. I ain't going to fight you in front of my family. Okay? So, what does that mean? Do I got to... Do I still gotta rope you? Leave my daddy alone. Leave me alone. Leave it. Shit. Be a man about it. Look me. away, boy. You remember this moment. You're the man now. Be a man, boy. I don't wanna do this. I wanna let him go. Can I cut him free? Go. What is this about? You let me free? I think, I think the quest was, oh, oh, dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean this. I didn't mean this. I want to let you go. I guess the, the quest will let me just let you go, because I just want to let you go, frankly. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I love you, Daddy. Enough with that. Just remember what I said, boy. This is so sad, I don't want to take him in. Let's go for a ride. But I'll fail this otherwise. No! I was hoping to be able to spare him. Johnson! Johnson! What? Just, you're real quiet back there. Most captured men, they beg or they cry or they rail against fate. I've made my peace. That son of a bitch. What the heck it's just... Been late for running, Johnson. Oh no, don't. Damn you. I'll ah. these time this time. How's that? What? I'm so confused. Too bad you weren't right under my horse's butt. That would have been really funny. <laughs> wow. Could have got your neck broke. Premature. Like the boy said, let him go back to his family. I'm so confused. Is he good or is he bad? He's like trying to escape. Too late to turn back now. I don't know. Are they just gonna let me go? This one was so bizarre. I didn't know whether to let him go or like what. Won't belong to wearing roads. This is roads. You're almost shot him. I'm ready. I hope they make it quick. I guess the law is the law, right? I was about to spare him and let him go. All right, let's do this. Hey now. Found this feller on a small holding. Name's Mark Johnson. You can only run so long, son. There's your cell. <laughs> You're lucky it's not a grave. I was out to buy you. Wasn't hurting no one. Maybe True. you weren't. But those partners of yours were a rough bunch. Go to hell. Well, maybe we ended up doing the right thing. Go to the sheriff's desk. That's the price for Johnson. Only twenty-five dollars. Else would have. You tell yourself that, bounty hunter. You ain't wider than white. I hope your path catches up. Well, frankly, I don't care. I wanted the money. Whoa! Oh. All right. Off to do the wagon thing. Actually, you know what? We're honestly close. <gasps> I get to see my girl Sadie. Never freaking mind. We're closer to this one. I think that wagon quest will always be there. So we're going to go see my girl Sadie. Oh, yeah. 
I did not realize that she had a quest available. Who's that? It's me. I'm going here to talk to my girl. My girl. Ooh, and we got a, a money quest, another heist quest maybe? Hopefully that'll still be here when we get back. Cause I cannot pass up this opportunity. Where is she, Shipster? It's a nice place <gasps> you brought us to, my brother. How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Your hair's on a braid. Been quite a journey since, uh, well, since I joined you fellas. <laughs> yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. Oh, Lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Mrs. Adler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My yes, Lord, let her come. A few more like her, we could take over the whole world. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes. <laughs> now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. No, Sadie. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? Look, there, the tree line. Everybody, oh, the boys are coming. What the? No, not Karen. You've got to be joking me. Bloody hell, nobody's safe anymore. Oh my god, I was not expecting that though. Ah, oh, shoot. Do I gotta go downstairs? Oh! Poor Kieran, I liked him so much! Am I allowed to go out? Can I go out, like, to, you know, shoot and stuff? I guess not. Oh, oh, we gotta go to, I'm, I'm in ding dong. We gotta go to the front. Get inside, fast. Come on, quick. Jeez. Don't let anyone back through that door. What's happening out here? Everyone okay? Everyone but Kira. Oh, I didn't mean that the the horse ran right into my bullet. This one? Oh, that cabinet. Barely see it. Now everyone I got this. Get these windows covered quickly. John, you take the windows over there. Charles, you take the side door there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go. Looks like we're not gonna be hanging around here very much longer. You Everyone accounted for me. I think. Hey, I said it's everyone accounted for. I don't know. I think. Who wouldn't be? Oh. 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 Oh.
Jesus, eh? She's still out there. Oh. Okay. Who's this lady here? Dutch always had a fondness for women. Okay. Oh, don't you touch her. Lay your hands off, Sadie. You mother. Oh, let's go. Oh, yeah, she's fine. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's my girl. That's my girl. And miss all this? Come on, Arthur. Now we go back. Teaches you. No, you don't. No, you don't. Damn straight. Get my gun back. There's another one. Oh, there he is. Yes. Oh, I'm coming. Oh yeah, she, yep, you got this. I'm so glad I came back and did this quest. This is awesome. <laughs> You're about to be super dead. Like, deader than dead. Throw some, can I throw some dynamite? Is that frowned upon? Aw, oh, dang it. We okay? I think so. Except for Karen here. Oh my god. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the box. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Comb O'Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. I just can't. I like Kieran too. <clears throat> Arthur's like, I did not sign up for cleanup duty. He saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. Yes. That's what love has done to her, I guess. That was beautiful, Arthur. And, and also, her gold shirt, my gold shirt, his gold vest, I just want to say we're triplets. No big freaking deal. I just think this is the best day of my life. I do, however. So it's okay. a city bank, and then we're off. It's what you wanted. It's what we need, if we can manage it. City banks are hard, but we got a lot of guns. You then we're we out of here. Do it? I hope so. I really do. Swanson, nice to know that your Take butt crack's not morning. hanging out. You all right, Reverend? Just trying to make sense of this. I'm scared. Oh, boy. Ho, oh, ho, oh, boy. Going to go put another outfit on my horse real quick. Saw a necklace last week from a lady's house in the mansion district. I don't like Sandini either. Built on, I don't know what. Built on. 
memories. This whole place is all about memory. It's built on lies and mud. That's and deep. Things bad since this country was discovered. I think it's beautiful. Very romantic. I know you'd say that. Well, it is. I love Mary Beth. She's so sweet. Ghosts everywhere? I want to see a ghost. I've seen one, but I want to see another one. Um, yeah, I'm going to change clothing. I'm going to add another outfit. Because I have now, I love this new outfit that I got. The one that I got for free, right? It should still be in my thing, right? Oh, we have to put this on on it though. The the du the du Duville? Yes, Storm and Horse. Cumberland. What was the other one called? The Gambler. It was called like the Warville. Maybe I don't get that one. Anyway, as long as I have my this one, yes. The, oh, here we go. The Whitmore. That's that's what I was looking for. That is a fantastic outfit. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, let's give him a little shave. Um, chin. Yes. Chops. Yes. Ooh. Arthur, once again, my friend, we are looking mighty fine. Mighty fine. Jim Boy Callaway. You dealt with all the gunslingers. Go to Callaway and Levin with the findings. Holy snap. It has been a while since I've been to Valentine. Maybe we can definitely stop by there and uh, go finish off that quest line. I totally forgot. That was like the one of the first major side quests I ever did. That was so funny. Okay, great. Yeah, let's go do that. I thought you'd run off to join the circus. Huh? Circus? No. You worried your mother half to death. Oh. I was fine. Really, I, I ate was. spaghetti. I ate spaghetti. What? Oh, it's Italian food. It's... I don't know how to explain. It's was delicious. It yeah, really nice. And the people? They were nice, too. Everything was very... Well, different. I slept in a bed in a room. Like a cage. No, no, no. More like a palace oh. in a story. How nice for you. <laughs> Our little prince. Oh, <laughs> kind of like that book. Boys got used to fine living now, Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> what could be finer than a home in a swamp surrounded by alligators? <laughs> Very true. He's not wrong. Well, little prince, tomorrow we begin reading again. What? Take it easy with that stuff. Sheesh, Karen. This is taking it easy. Between you, Swanson, and Uncle. You okay? No, we'll be. I always had a soft spot for that, Karen. But not me. What about me? You okay, Uncle? I'm keeping my head, which is more than we can say for Kieran. Straight in there with the jokes. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, well, let's talk more later. Straight in there with the jokes. Where, where is that coming from? Swanson. What are you doing? Oh jeez. Oh jeez, am I in trouble? Of course. We're always working. You okay, Miss Grimshaw? Oh, oh Driscoll's Mary Pemberton's? Beth. Is there anybody who doesn't know where we you are okay? at this point? I thought I'll never make that mistake. I'm just waiting for the food. But apparently it's not done yet. 
I love watching him like make the food. That is so cool. Actually, I wonder if I can donate anything else. Getting real low on meat here. Let's give him some bass. And what else do we have? Tender pork loin. I'm gonna give him some. Very good. We were getting low. Yes. You're welcome. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. I'll have to come back for food later. I frankly don't want to wait. Alright, let's go. Back at it, boy. Back at it, boy. All the way back to Valentine. It has been a while. Oh. I don't even have the words. If that wasn't a Martha Organ moment, I don't know what was. Okay, off to Valentine part two. <laughs> A lady. My friend. You there. Yeah? You sure you look want? a frat. Do I look like a coward to you? I mean, obviously I do, because I look like that milksop there, but tis no matter. Can you help? Maybe. I guess. See, even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here? to somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep-seated inadequacy. Well, what did you have in mind? <laughs> Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. That's putting it lightly. Shoot one off mine instead. Yeah, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. <laughs> Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. That jacket is okay, blinding, yeah. my friend. <sighs> oh. Listen. Just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. <laughs> if anything goes wrong. This. Okay. Shoot, sir, while our curse is good shot, sir. Oh, you got it. <laughs> and you're not dead. That was fun. <laughs> what was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. <laughs> Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Please. She, but she's like. unbearable. He needs silencing. I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, you boys are so silly. Even she's like, I don't want you to pass your jeans on. Just shoot. With nothing to fear at all. Now aim that over here. Oh my god. Now I'll stand on one leg. Me too. You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the swamps. Helen! Silence, you blackguard, sir. Shoot the wretch. <laughs> You're deranged. Shoot the wretch. Shoot away, sir. My bottle and his brain. Oh my god, dude, Please. dude, I can't. At least I have Why? I must be the bravest man I know. I Ooh, that was close. <sighs> now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. Uh, one of them's going to end up dying. I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Oh, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering uh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not ask. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are too much. Uh, 
<laughs> one guy looked like Conan O'Brien with like brown hair. That was super funny. Oh, I missed how much money I got from that because I was too busy laughing. Oh, brother, where art thou? What a great movie. Two brothers seeking adventure in the West. Acrisius and Proidus Pro 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 have bottles shot off their head to prove their bravery. This will continue at a... <gasps> oh, now I kind of want to go through all the old... Play all the older towns, I would want to make sure I'm not missing any side quests. Damn, literally there's so much. I'm parched. I think I got I think I got something for you, bud. Oh, it's this guy! Hey, brother! Yes, this is the guy with no hey, arm, the other guy Mr. no leg. Mr. Arthur. Hello. Why are you always so mad? I'm not mad. You're crazy. All that shooting. And they said I was crazy. I'm not crazy. Not like you. You uh, beat up the big fella. He won't beat me up. I asked for it. You think you're real crazy, mister? No. Maybe I'm a little crazy. I'm talking to you, so I must be crazy. I fought in a war, mister. I did. Sent me strange seeing all them fellas die. Which war was that exactly? A bad one, Mr. Arthur. <coughs> oh, a real bad. There's good wars. Uh, I no. Nope. I saw terrible things. I ain't been the same since. Uh, I get, I get funny. I'll go now. Don't act crazy now. Oh, I won't plan on it. You have a good day now, sir. Ha! Ah. I want me some oatmeal. I had oatmeal for breakfast this morning. Ask after Callaway. Hey, I'm looking for some fellas sojourned around here. Boy Callaway and a rider called Levin. Drunk Boy Callaway. This bar's got bullet marks to remember him by. Last I heard, they was in San Denis. Had rooms on a riverboat there. Oh, cool. San oh. Denis on a riverboat? Oh, okay then. Yeah, I don't think we want to go back there. Mm, don't think that's a good idea. I wouldn't drink here though. Get on to San Denis and have you some Sazerac. Sazerac. If there's anything else I can do, let me know. Sazerac sounds delicious. Hello, hey, sir. All right. What do we got now? Anything else around here? Oh, we got. We can do. Um, now I gotta go check out Strawberry and see if I missed anything. Any quests there? Any Stranger Quests? I wonder if they had new Stranger Quests every chapter. Hmm. Okay. I guess while we're here, we can do... We can go hang out with Eagle Flies. Ask you to meet his son, Eagle Flies, steal some documents from Cornwall, Kerosene, and Tall. Okay, let's do that. Since we're here, we might as well. Okay, boy. What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? Hey, partner. Oh, here they are. Yes, seen this place many times. You came. Of course I, I did. Came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence, or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Otherwise, you'll have to sneak past the guards. Wow, it's close. Sneak into the back of it? I 
I might want my horse close by. Can't whistle to it. Oh well. Getting motion sickness from this. <laughs> I should have uh, changed my outfit. Is that you, Al? Hey, Tom. Picking up? Yep. Supposed to meet the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. Yes, better get a move on. Oh. Oh, thank God. Okay. Am I cold because it's raining? I'm gonna start loading up. Uh. Okay then. Try to be sneaky. How the heck am I gonna do this? Am I allowed to kill people? Like take them out, all stealthy, you know? They don't notice me. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh! Go 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 go! Whoa! Okay. I'm Captain right, Morgan. Yourself, friend. This won't take long. Danbury. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office. What's well, my head? Doesn't seem important right now. No. I need a file by the Leland. Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti? I... I... Danbury, think, man. A mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over such a nice I... floor as this. Heh. <laughs> True. Is it worth it? Thank you very much. You done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. No, nope. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes, it's just I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. I'll be off. Smooth. Hey, 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 hold it right there. Weapons on the ground and hands in the air. Easy now, fellas. Now, we won't tell you again. <gasps> I don't want to shoot anybody. Let's just get the heck out of here. What the heck? You're fine, just wipe it off. 
Where the heck is he? Go, go, go. Oh, there's my horse. Let him. Yeah. Watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Unfortunately. Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were gonna enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. No. Well, I don't know what I hope, but who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. Thank you. You're a fine young man. Oh, ho, ho. watching it burn. Beautiful. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. I really hope you enjoyed it. Lots of crazy stuff happened. I was glad to see my girl Sadie again. Again, though, did not spend nearly as much time with her as I would have hoped. Poor Kieran, though, was not expecting him to ride on into camp beheaded uh just another one to bite the dust i guess i will say though saint denis and the entire area surrounding it is super mega creepy but i kind of like it there's a ton of stuff going around especially in the camp they keep talking about ghosts and they keep talking about people drinking other people's blood so i'm just i'm kind of wondering if there's more going on in saint denis than we really understand if you guys are looking forward to more episodes of red dead redemption 2 make sure to like subscribe and click that bell button to get notified when i upload those videos have a great rest of your day and i'll see you guys next time